Finley. You're a bad dog. Oh, I'm getting old. That hurt. Well, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to talk about how to appropriately use a hose and sprayer. Now, for most people, it probably kind of looks like you just put stuff in here and you start spraying. And that's not exactly the case. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, what I have here is the Chameleon hose sprayer, which is an adjustable hose sprayer, which means that there is a dial here on the top where I can set the rate of application per gallon of water. So this goes all the way down to, I believe, let's see, one tablespoon, or one teaspoon. It goes into one teaspoon and goes all the way up to eight ounces. So that means you can spray between one teaspoon and eight ounces of water per gallon of water flowing through that. So in order to determine how many gallons of water is flowing through here per minute, you need to do a check on your hose bib, turn on the water, get a five gallon bucket, time it, and see how long it takes to fill up that gallon, of, that five gallon bucket, or one gallon, you can do whatever. All right, in order to determine how many gallons per minute you're getting out of your hose, you want to turn your hose bib, turn it all the way to the left as far as possible, get yourself either your watch or a timer on your smartphone, and we're gonna go for one minute, see how long it takes and how many gallons we get in this five gallon bucket. We'll do a little bit basic math. So, start. All right, so if you can see that on the phone, I don't know, it says 40 seconds. It took 40 seconds to fill up a five gallon bucket. Let's make it easy on ourselves and just say it's gonna be slightly less than 10 gallons per minute, okay? Maybe like eight and a half maybe. Let's just say it's 10. So if we set our hose end sprayer to one ounce and it's spraying out 10 gallons per minute, I don't think it is. I think it's going to be restricted, actually, because of this. All right. So we know out of the hose, we're getting about 10 gallons per minute. But what are we getting out of our hose and sprayer? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's start my timer again. Got a leaky hose. Reset, start. Two minutes, five gallons. So we're getting two and a half gallons out of the hose and sprayer per minute. So if we're using a one ounce setting, we're gonna be spraying two and a half ounces of whatever we put into this container per minute of spray. So I have a pretty small backyard. It's gonna be about, I think it's 3,000 square feet. Let's go ahead and say that I'm putting in 25 ounces of product onto my yard. I have a one ounce setting on my hose and sprayer. It's gonna take me 10 minutes to do the entire yard. All right, so ideally when you use the sprayer, you're gonna to wanna to do two different directions. So you, in my yard, you're gonna to wanna to go left to right and then front to back. You wanna get as much even coverage as possible because you're gonna get a spray. Finley, go away, sit. Finley, sit. Sit, stay, stay. You're gonna get coverage that looks like this. Or if you change it, you're gonna get, stay, sit, sit, stay, 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 sit. Here's 
You're a bad girl. Sit. Sit. Stay. Hey, hey. Stay. Stay. Stay right there. You know better. Stay. Good girl. Stay. All right. So I think as long as you stay in anywhere between two ounces, ounce and a half, an ounce, half an ounce, it's all gonna depend on your walking pace and how long you wanna spend covering your yard. I'd say less is more. If you're uncomfortable with a bigger number or your pace or your experience using this product, then the lower the number's better. You might take more time. It might take you half an hour to do my backyard. For me, it's gonna take me about 10 minutes. Um, so your best judgment in your mind, if you're feeling confident, is start with a lower number and find your sweet spot as you go. And if you're using this product throughout the year, by the end of the year, you're gonna have a pretty good idea of how this works. So this is a chameleon. I'll have a link in the description below for that. I will also put a link in the descriptions below for the ortho model, which gets better reviews. And honestly, if I bought a new one, that's probably what I'd buy. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like. If you want to subscribe, smash the subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.